Sony continues to drive smartphone and television product launches at CES, but the PlayStation is still the main driver. What is your consumer electronics strategy beyond PlayStation? Well, beyond PlayStation, which is obviously a very important part of our business, we aim to grow, grow the TV business, our digital imaging business, as well as our smartphone business, making sure that we concentrate more on the higher end part of the market. Um, and for example, in the United States, uh, for the market, about $1,500 for TVs, we have a 30% market share. So that's the kind of area we want to play in. Now, you've launched a new department focused on AI and robotics. You've been talking about AI. You know, is your goal to surpass, let's say, Google and Amazon in AI? I think our goal is to make sure that we work with partners such as Google, Amazon, and others um, and leverage their technology um, and combine it with the AI and robotics technology that we have in-house to create uh, products that are very unique to Sony. Uh, the Eyeball that we uh, released in Japan being one of these examples. And we certainly want to make sure that we continue down that path to uh, have a, a unique combination that's very Sony-esque. Ibo, as you mentioned, this is your robotic dog. Some people think of this as nothing more than an overpriced toy. What sort of practical uses do you see for a robotic dog, let's say a year from now? Well, first of all, I think that uh, you know we position the Ivo as being a uh, an entertainment robot, but I think that uh, the technology that we incorporate into Ivo, the AI, the robotics, and that combination uh, in different form factors uh, can manifest itself in other robots uh, that will be uh, you know a part of a transportation, uh, education, uh, healthcare, elderly healthcare as well. Um, so it has a lot of different applications beyond just being an entertainment robot. Now, a uh, lot of consolidation happening in the movie business with Disney buying those Fox assets. Curious what your strategy is uh, given increasing consolidation and, and how, how do you intend to compete with such a giant? I think that uh, you know the industry uh, in the motion picture business is uh, is rapidly changing in terms of its landscape. We need to make sure that first and foremost that we have a strong lineup in our motion picture releases, and we've done exactly that with Spider-Man: Homecoming, uh, Jumanji this past week, uh, you know, number one in the United States. We had Blade Runner 2049 internationally. We had the Emoji Movie. We had Baby Driver. Um, so I think we're on a, a path to recovery in that space. Uh, we also want to make sure that we continue very strong in our TV production business where we uh, actually supply a lot of programming to non-Sony networks uh, and companies uh, and that's a, a core strength we have. Um, we certainly want to grow that business as well and ride the wave of the, uh, of the growth in the industry. Now Bloomberg also reported that you spoke to the Murdochs about potentially buying those Fox assets as well. Why? Why was that an option you wanted to explore? I think that uh, you know we want to make sure that you know as these uh, deals uh, you know come into the forefront that you know we are able to uh, be a part of those discussions, uh, ascertain you know whether uh, you know an acquisition here makes sense or not, um, and, and make sure that we continue to be a major industry player in Hollywood uh, and, and continue to explore deals where uh, you know we feel that uh, it could be appropriate uh, as a strategy going forward. Has Sony considered selling its film or TV studio? I think that uh, for now uh, the strategy is really, as I said before, to uh, shore up our motion picture business um, and then uh, make sure that with uh, any of the deals that we, we may consider in the future that we're in the driver's seat um, and uh, you know, not in a situation where you know, we have to give up control of uh, the assets that we've grown over the years.